we have noticed some things about, uh, about polygons. Let's take a look at something else. I'm gonna make a triangle here. Okay, I'm gonna make a triangle and then also a rectangle. So I've got a triangle and a rectangle. Now take a look at what happens when I hold this triangle up. It maintains its shape, it's very sturdy and stable. What happens when I hold up the rectangle? It does not have that sturdiness, does it? It can't really maintain its shape on its own. I wonder what would happen if I put a diagonal in here. Wow, look at my rectangle now. It can stand up, it's definitely stable. So a triangle is stable on its own. A rectangle, we had one that made it stable. Let's take a look at a pentagon. Well, this pentagon is not at all stable. Let's add some diagonals and see if that helps. Well, it helped for part of it, but not the whole thing. Let's see. Let's see if another one will do the trick. Well, now it's stable. Got a nice sturdy pentagon for ourselves. Maybe you'd like to explore with our box of sticks, making other polygons and seeing how many diagonals it takes to make those polygons stable. Have you noticed something in our polygons? What happened when we put diagonals in? What shapes do you see? So the triangle is a triangle. What shapes do you see inside the rectangle now that we've put a diagonal, look, we've got a triangle and another triangle. What about our pentagon? It's nice and stable. We've got one, two, we've got three triangles in there. Hmm. Very interesting, isn't it? Maybe we could make a table of all this information that you found. We could make a table with some columns. Let me show you how we could do that. Let's make a table for ourselves. We're gonna have a column that is the name of the polygon. And then we're going to have a, a column that tells us the number of sides. And then we'll have a column for the minimum number of diagonals we need to make it stable. So we saw for the triangle, it has three sides and it didn't need any diagonals. What about for the rectangle? It had four sides and it needed one diagonal. And the pentagon? Five sides and two diagonals. Why don't you finish filling this out with everything else you've discovered about uh, polygons and their diagonals?